I remember the big layoff. Here I am in Washington, D.C. at Children's National Medical Center, where I am an administrative assistant. The big boss calls us in to let us know that there has been a cut in the budget and we will have to let you go. Wow, talking about being sick in my stomach. What am I gonna do? I'm not gonna have a job. I have bills that I need to pay. I have a mortgage. Oh my. So I had one question for the boss. Was this because of our performance? Oh no, the boss said, this was a budget cut and we had to let some people go. So I had to go into my 401k, which that was something I did not want to do. And I do not encourage you to do that because your 401k is only for your retirement. But I had no choice. I had no family members that could help me. I had no one. I had no savings. I had no emergency fund. So what do you do when you hear the word you are being laid off? You do what you have to do. So I had to go through my 401k. I had to get two jobs to supplement my income. That was something I did not want to do either. But I'm a woman of integrity. And I was not going to cheat. I was not going to steal. I was not going to do anything that would jeopardize my character. So I worked two jobs to get what I needed to do. And you know, I think you would do the same thing because if you get the word that you've been laid off, first thing you wanna know, what am I gonna do? What can I do? Well, I had to get two jobs to make ends meet and that was not a good feeling. But you have to do what you have to do. And I'm so glad that I didn't allow that to stop me because life has changes. Life hits all of us. And <clears throat> my change wasn't the best change. I had to apply for unemployment. That was something I did not want to do. I felt embarrassed, but you have to do what you have to do. And this is what I did. And so now I am financially set. Thank <laughs> you.